Thus, I must fire Mr. Christie because of my bloodline. Now, the Bohemian people cannot vote for Amos Jr. Miller bloodline. So Lyndon Oscar Pendlin reigned because he recognized the old man who was his senior in respect to his aspirations. And I honestly don't believe Sir Lyndon probably wanted to be a, a politician. You'd be surprised to know what that man really wanted to be. I believe he was thrust into it by God Most High himself. Now, we could talk about why he was removed. The voice of the people. Listen to me. is final. The options the people have in regards to both ministers of finance as of 1992 all the way to present 2013. One, have shown absolute egregious content for the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and everything it stands for as relates to the House of Willis Miller. As relates to the House of Willis Miller. Thus, my birth, the 2nd of June, is important to these two men and the conspiracy of which I speak. Because for 16 years before my birth, Her Majesty, reigning sovereign, now for 60 years minus three years before I born okay she would have been reigning for 16 years as reigning sovereign and then I born pardon me on the 17th year on the day they chose to honor her on the 2nd of June as reigning sovereign over the commonwealth. Now, if this is not supernatural enough for anyone else on the planet, at least the Rhodes Scholars, and I think we have at least three on record, and at least three off record that they, at least these two ministers of finance, former and present minister of, ministers of finance, knows of which I speak. This is the message of dynamis. This is the message of what we call respect. Manas and respect is the vehicle that was used to bring Amos J. Miller Israel this far. First and foremost for God's sacred word that was given to my parents and their parents. So my grandfather generation, Willis Miller generation is considered fifth generation gener Bohemian. So thus you speak then about my grandfather, grandfather, my great grandfather, my great grandfather father would be my great great grandfather because then you have my father third generation my grandfather fourth generation and then my grandfather father who would be my great great grandfather that makes it sixth generation this nation belongs to me in respect to hereditary bloodline Thus, today, as I make this statement, I would be remiss to not mention, as I sit in the honorable seat and chair, once owned by the honorable house of the Mena, the honorable, right honorable. You see, when men like them pass on, they take on, in my view, the right honorable. Okay? Because, honest to the Lord, there is no politician on this planet who could say Sir Clement may not or Amy Hannah and the reason why I did not say Sir Amy Hannah because he chose not to because he's this is his position 
Now, I'm not here to insult the Royal House of Windsor. I'm here to tell the House of, Royal, of the Royal House of Windsor. Now, what are you going to do? Because I am declaring the truth. Thus, I have the right to demand what I desire, and I only desire 20% of the wealth of the world retroactive for 43 years to this young man. In respect to from the day I born which would be the 17th year on that day I born Her Majesty reigning sovereign Queen Elizabeth Alexandra Mary II she's still alive. If the record is wrong then I stand to be corrected. If she did not celebrate it on the 2nd of June, 60 years of reigning sovereign, then Justice Milton Evans did not give her a birthday present on the 31st of May by awarding the first Caribbean International Bank this building and property of which I have shown the world and then refused within 14 days to grant me one his judge's ruling of that case, the transcript of the case, or his, the judge's preferred order, the preferred order of the case. These documents were vital to the education and record, education records for that in respect to the cases that were brought against me. But we know why these cases was brought against me in respect to the First Caribbean International Bank. That's because my ex-wife, Tiffany Patricia Rowe, she left her marriage. She left her marriage because she wanted to carry on whatever affairs she claimed that her, her and her family and the Bahamas government and the world now knows that I will not utter out of my mouth again because I am declaring today from this day forward the world system, 20% of their wealth. What is 20% of their wealth? 20% of their wealth, excuse me, simply mean that give and take the resources that recognition in that regard. You see, because 20% of the Bohemian is economy coming to the royal house allows that house to buy into the, re the companies and resources in respect to per um, trading, um, companies trading on the New York Stock Exchange, the International Stock Exchange, Trading Stock Exchange. Thus, if you allow corrupt, in my humble opinion, political and religious families to get their hands on this kind of governance, they create oligarchies, thus singling out and deliberately prosecuting, persecuting to prosecution those like my, such as myself as of the 40th birthday of this child, my eyes were opened. They tried to persecute me through prosecution to which was the weapons of suppression that they use along with oppression in respect to the constitution uh, they use discrimination. Thus, I make and rest my case for corruption to continue to defraud this young man out of such retreatry. Most of Ackland's, my grandparents own. You see now, as it relates to these families and my grandfather, you see the islands and all of the different islands have men like my grandfather. And, the, uh, and these six, fifth, fourth, unlike myself, third generation, it is important that they get me in jail, these corrupt politicians who have the country. Or else, I will tell you the truth. And if I tell you the truth and you buy into me, you see what you cost? You cost one for these men to be charged 
before an international court. The problem for me, who am I going to make this charge to unless I come to the world and unless the world tie and buy into this message? And because one, they own the banking system who these two people did all of this for. So what am I saying? I would be remiss, let me digress for a minute. As I speak to you physically, I'm hungry. I haven't eaten for the day and I don't even care. When I eat, I eat from the earth, the fruit of the earth. I, if I have to go to my brothers, my sisters, or my mother's residence for food, because there is no food in that cupboard, as far as I'm concerned, I have no food, physical food that is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yet, why should I be afraid to tell the people of the world and look them in their eyes and say, take a good please, take a good look at me. Once I take a good fresh bath with in plenty, plenty cold water, and when the coldness of the water hit my skin, I can glorify the most high, I can keep going on. At least for another three years. Now I have a disabled boy, three years of age, who needs a surgery. The conspiracy, by the way. In respect to Justice Milton Evans not wanting to grant me those documents, we know why. That is connected. He, se he separated that case. He, gave, he granted this. He tried to grant him. But he, 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 def he defrauded me out of my right to a fresh trial. He, in other words, then, my case in regards to case that was heard before Justice Milton Evans, case number 01341 forward slash 2012. Case number 01341 forward slash 2012 that was heard before Justice Milton Evans. It was purged, it was prejudiced from the, from the beginning because he knew at that time, one, I had the knowledge, individually speaking, to represent myself in the, matter, in the matters that were heard before in his presence um, on the 27th of May in respect to case number 00271. I represented myself. He refused to allow me to represent myself and agreed, it was agreed that we can, I can go or not go and get le um, legal, go to the legal aid clinic and seek legal aid because he will not sit and hear the case with me representing myself, knowing I have a constitutional right to represent myself or granted the evidence if a case is brought against me, then the case must be placed before me. Once it's placed before me and rulings and cases are going on in that regard, Justice Milton Evans is not ignorant to the law in respect to my right to Article 28 of the Constitution and what it speaks to in respect to the provisions. Justice Milton Evans might be ignorant to the proclamation that Universal Declaration document of 1948 and the General Assembly of the United Nations proclaim in respect to the preamble of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights document and its 30 articles and then Article 30 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. I'm here to say to the Honorable Justice that one, it is imperative that your Honorable Court recognize that you, 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 sir, as a justice with the greatest respect, prejudice my case. Thus, I seek redress from an independent, a national independent tribunal. And by the way, I disagree with the doing away with of any as relates to cases, criminal cases being brought and heard before justices in the Supreme Court. Um, as relates to the doing away with of any jury 
or trial by jury. It is imperative that corrupt men and women, whether being in the church, business, or civic, or in politics, are not allowed to set up pyramids of corruption. The Bahamian constitution is too important to allow, after 22 to 23 years, two ministers of finance, or three, because no, not one of the prime ministers who would have led this country is greater than all of the Bahamians who mothers and fathers are real Bahamians who were the ones who gave them through their government other foreign nationals who had children in their country to become citizens by way of birth and borning in the country at the time, give and take your parent, whether your mother um, had baby for a Bahamian and you born in the Bahamas or your mother were a foreign immigrant, be it legal or illegal, and your mother were and your father was a Haitian or a Jamaican or a Canadian. Canadian, an American, a Spaniard, no matter a, a Grecian, wherever you're from, once your mother had you in the Bahamas, you're considered a Bahamian after you are granted citizenship by way of the Minister of Finance. It's not automatic. So it is a form of aggression on the national sovereignty of the people that have rights to that country's resources and protection by law of the inherent right of that country's and its resources. To have first generation Bahamians calling and making statements and speaking without English interpreters. That is a hostile takeover by that foreign country in respect to that language. Now, if it is happening on a national radio station, private radio stations or national radio stations, whatever is said in foreign languages must be translated in English because the people who own this country is English-speaking people and the majority of which does not speak no other language other than English. For that reason, I bring this case before not only the Bahamian people who's entitled to this type of representation before the world, but I bring it to the world so the world may be informed because I'm sure there, there's decent Bahamians in this country. So I'm sure there's decent people around the world in Haiti who knows that no form of foreign aggression on any person country should be tolerated. So for the Bahamas government to have also on other radio stations such as, and I won't call the radio station name, to bring, to bring no form of negative you know, embarrassment to the, to the station. But when the radio station can have a private show on their on their television station asking our young people, the next generation, listen now, who in most cases, parents are Bahamians, mother and father's Bahamians, but when you check their, who is their grandparents or their great grandparents, there's a mixture in the bloodline. Regardless of all of that, once these children are known as Bahamian and got that they're, you know, did not by corruption or conspiracy, you know, through false pretense, end up with Bahamian passport that they were not granted through proper channels by the Ministry of Finance, given that they waited for the proper time and went through the proper channels. Okay, these are Bahamian, first generation. Okay, now, this is the point I'm making. The resources of the country has been misused by the politicians who does not have the best interests of real Bahamians such as myself at, at heart. Thus, 
it is my view and my opinion that they have sold this out. If I ask, Amos Jr. Miller asks, and by the way, that J is what represents my me being the oldest child of my father. But hereditarily speaking, I will change my middle name to or initial to the letter Y. Because I have a question to ask both ministers of finance and their cabinet who served with them in the last 22, 22 within the 23 years. Why haven't the government of the Bahamas, when the FNM led the country for 15 years and 5 days, and the Progressive Liberal Party government, led and headed by the now Minister of Finance, the Right Honorable Perry Glaston Christie, and, its, and his cabinet in the last seven going into the seventh year why haven't your cabinet did anything to show respect to the house of amos j miller israel for what he would have done in respect to and in regard to bohemian sovereignty and what it means to be a bohemian and in regard and also in respect to bohemian politics the reason why y'all didn't do it is because y'all thought the young man sitting before the world and before you would have never figured all of this out on this level and or and even if he did have enough courage or nerve to do it. Guess what? This is called then. Checkmate. So the question for you guys before I shut sign off is what makes the Ingram house and the Christie House more, res more deserving of opportunity. Listen now, world, and listen now to Fortune and everybody who don't who just ain't into their nonsense. I talking about I talking to the PLP, FNMs, and DNAs and independents who absolutely don't really like you guys right now because they know they too represent uh, what Amos is talking about. And if that's the case. The question is, who did y'all bless with all of this wealth? And by the way, Bahamas, work, Bahamas government workers, remember, a whole lot of money is borrowed, okay, every year. And the majority of the money goes to government workers. 